Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to factor perfect square trinomials. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given two problems here, and they both kind of represent our options when we have a perfect square trinomial. One main difference here is going to be the negative and the positive. Let's start with a value here that's all positive. We have 9x squared plus 12x plus 4, and we want to factor this perfect square trinomial. We first want to look at our beginning value, our 9x squared, and our last value, the 4 here, and we'll see if there are perfect squares. Well, 9x squared can be written as a, well, 3x all squared. 3 squared is a 9, x squared, x squared. What about the 4? The 4 can be written as a 2 squared right here. 2 times 2 gives us a 4. Now the last thing we want to check here, so we have our, well, if we look at our form, it kind of looks like the first one right here, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Let's see if we can rewrite it in this form. We clearly have an a value of a 3x and a b value of a 2. What about the inside? What is 2ab? Does that equal a 12x? So if we have plus a 2 times our a value, 3x, times our b value, which was 2, does that equal a 12x? Well, 2 times 2 is a 4 times a 3 gives me a 12, and we would have a 12x here. And so really, we can rewrite this as kind of how we, ha how we have it. We have a 2 times an a value and our b value here. We see the form. 3x squared plus 2 times 3x times 2 plus 2 squared. a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. We have that form for all the values. We can rewrite it as a plus b all squared. Our a value here is a 3x plus our b value, which was a 2, and we can write that as all squared. And there we have it. We factored our first trinomial, 9x squared plus 12x plus 4, to get 3x plus 2 all squared. Now let's go hop on over to our second example here, and it's going to deal with, well, the second formula. We have 81y squared minus 72y plus a16. Let's look at the first value and the last values first. 81y squared can be rewritten as a 9y all squared. 9 squared is an 81, and a y squared is a y squared. Our last value here, the 16, can be rewritten as 4 all squared, the perfect square, right? 4 squared, 16. So in this case, our a value is going to be a 9y, and our b value is a 4. Does it line up when we have 72y? Does that equal, when we multiply it using our formula here, a 2 times an a value, 9y, let's put that as a, times a b value, which is 4, and then we have plus 4 squared. So does 2 times 9 times 4 equal a 72? Well, 2 times 9 is an 18, times 4 does equal 72 with a negative sign. So we have a 72y does equal 9, or sorry, 2 times 9y times 4. And so now we can rewrite this using our little formula. We've separated it out. Our a value is 9y, so we have a 9y right here. Oops, don't erase, don't put parentheses yet for it. Minus our b value, which is a positive 4. Key is a minus sign, all squared. And so 81y squared minus 72y plus 16 came out to be a 9y minus 4 all squared using our well, perfect trinomial, or factoring perfect trinomial formula. I hope you learned something here on how to factor perfect square trinomials. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.